Hello everyone, Nightfox here welcoming you back to another Tech Tuesday video. And I can already tell you're a little bit confused, you're probably wondering why I am in Foxhaven and why it looks so different. Well, to answer your question, um, we're, we're playing on the Minecraft PC. I converted my Foxhaven world from the Xbox to the PC just for fun. I, f I was, I'm working on a project and I figured it would be fun to have Foxhaven and PC, but that's not what we're doing today. Enough of that. I've actually got another topic to talk about today, and it's a topic that you guys have been wondering, been asking here lately, and that is how to change the resource pack or texture pack in Minecraft PC to be customized to pretty much whatever you wanted it to be. So I'm going to show you where to go to download it, how to download these texture packs, and then how to install them and put them on your Minecraft PC. So let's go ahead and dive in on how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to resourcepack.net. Now I do realize there's a whole bunch of Minecraft resource packs out there, but this one is probably my favorite. It's where I go to pretty much download any resource pack that I want for uh, Minecraft PC. And they, if you, as you can see up at the top, they've actually got them all themed. Uh, so you can kind of go with whatever you're looking for. And I think just for fun, we're gonna actually go and do a themed one this time. And as you can see here, they've got loads and loads of different packs for you to choose from. And I think I'm going to choose, hmm, let's do the classic Zelda. That's probably one of my favorite games growing up. Um, they're pretty simple to do. You just scroll through, scroll down to the bottom to where it has the download. Um, we're gonna click just this part right here. Make sure that you actually have the correct version. So once 1.9 come out, if you see this right here, and this is for 1.8 and 1.7, uh, chances are it will work, but you'll probably see some weird mishaps, maybe some blocks are missing and stuff like that. But we're gonna go ahead and click on it. It should take us to a media fire thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and download it. Should zip a download a zip file which it did and it actually put it into our downloads um, in the PC so I'm actually going to move it to my desktop because we are going to need to be able to find that pretty simply here in just a minute and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize out of that as you can see most of these do come to like media fires and stuff like that uh, on this website but it kind of differs between uh, the author or the creator of each texture pack so if you don't know what I mean if you go to over here um, say for instance this modern craft um, it's a little bit different to download you still scroll down to the bottom uh, you find where it's actually going ahead and you find the little download portion here but when I click on download as you notice it doesn't take me to media fire it actually takes me to planet minecraft um, and this is another site that you, a lot of people use for downloading mods and uh, texture packs and stuff like that. Um, and as we can see here, if we scroll down, there is a download link right here. We'll go ahead and click it. Um, and it should probably bring us to yet another thing. Some of these are a little bit more involved uh, in detail. It's more or less just whatever the author's uh, preference. Um, but we'll, we'll run through here. We'll skip the ad. It should take us to this thing, which is yet another thing. Um, we'll exit out of that. I don't need that right here. But you should see this little thing right here where it says download modern craft. Uh, so we'll go ahead and download it as well. And again, it's gonna. This one's this one's probably one of the more advanced ones that you're gonna see, uh, where you have to go through and jump through a lot of hoops and stuff. Uh, something that, that can help you guys out. If you scroll down, the very first thing that you click on. If you scroll down here. Um, a lot of people that are having issues with the downloading, uh, the author will actually put in the comment section down below to let you know what to do and stuff like that. So it uh, looks like we can go ahead and download it now. We should be able to download it no problem. There it is. It's popped up. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll move it over to our desktop so we can use it for later. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now that that's done. Um, we can move all of our stuff here. I do want to make one note really quickly about the resource packs here. Um, a lot of them are verified to not have viruses and stuff, but that doesn't mean you still shouldn't be cautious. If you do have Norton or any kind of AVG or antivirus, make sure that that is turned on. That way, if you do end up downloading something you don't necessarily want to download, you can catch it before it infects your computer. So this is kind of like an enter at your own risk. 
um, but I haven't had any problems with it and I have downloaded many many resource packs so okay so here we go now we're gonna go let's just go ahead and save and quick to title um, if you want to this is the main title for Minecraft down here at the bottom you should see where it says options and over here you should see where it says resource packs we're gonna click on resource packs as you can see I've already got four or five different ones that I want to add that I already have uh, installed on here and I actually installed this one because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you do have a resource packs that's made for like a newer version or if it's outdated it will show up red say that it's incompatible I can still use it and play it if I want to uh, but it might not work correctly so uh, yeah I, we're gonna leave that like it is um, what you're gonna need to do though once you actually download the resource packs and put them at a location that you can find them uh, you're gonna need to click this where it says open the resource pack folder and this should bring you up to the app data for minecraft that has all of the saves and all of the resource packs and stuff like that and all we're gonna do is click it and drag it on there um, I've already got modern craft so I'm not gonna move it over but we are gonna put the Zelda the classic Zelda in and once that's in all we have to do is scroll down and we're gonna hit done so if we go back into the resource packs now, it should show up right there. If it doesn't, you can always close out of Minecraft and reopen it back up and it should pop up. If it doesn't, then it most likely wasn't uh, installed correctly or something like that. And you'll probably need to do a little bit of troubleshooting. Um, but it looks like it's here for us. So I want to go ahead and click the arrow to make it go over to the selected resource packs. We're going to hit done after that and it should change everything over you should start noticing things a little bit different the sounds in the game are a little bit different as well which is really cool so i know this is going to be a good texture pack already i'm really excited to see what this looks like even the text is different oh wow oh wow look at this look at this look how different everything is you can see the textures and how much they've changed just with one little simple file <laughs> this is what Foxhaven looked as if it were in the NES version of Zelda looks looks pretty interesting I've got to admit so here you can take a look at all the blocks I've actually set up um, that we've got the lava we've got the water here's all the doors that are offered um, and some paintings and stuff looks like the paintings are even changed um, and then down here there's the torch and here's all the flowers and then here's a bed and then you got all this other stuff right over here and then these are all the other blocks and stuff I think I know that's glass um, some of the stuff did not change it looks like though it looks like the gravel pretty much stayed the same but I'm actually really surprised at how much did change so let's say for instance you actually decided once you got this that you did not like it or want to play it and stuff like that let me go ahead and maximize it so we can see it a little bit better there we go now you guys can see it a little bit better now um, but let's say you didn't actually enjoy this texture pack you can actually change it in game pretty easily so what I want to do I don't like this texture pack uh, let's go ahead and use the one that I usually use in whenever I play Minecraft and that's the life version um, it makes things look really crazy realistic and I absolutely love the way that it looks so after everything's done you'll go ahead and hit um, you'll, you'll move that back and move the other one over hit done it might take a second to change over but once it does um, you'll be able to just kind of continue on where you left off and as you can see we are now in a completely different texture pack again um, now you can see the the trees a little bit better you can see what each block is a little bit uh, better and stuff like that this one holds more true to what the minecraft blocks are supposed to look like uh, like there's the sign there's the torch and there's the bed and stuff like that this is probably one of my favorite I love how realistic things look I mean look at this cactus look at the cobwebs look at the grain in the trees and stuff it's an amazing texture pack I love it um, I love the water as well as the fire with the smoke and the lava and such it's it's all really well done probably one of my favorite texture packs um, and I highly recommend it this one for being used and the, also the cool thing is if you look at the different uh, swords and stuff they've actually changed as well I forgot to show you that in the last one um, so there we go and I don't think yeah the, the, the armor stayed the same unfortunately but everything else changed so I'm actually really happy with this one uh, let's see let's see what else we got let's go back to options let's move the remove the life one and let's find let's do 
Maybe the Serenity. Let's see how this one looks. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so everything's a lot greener now. Um, there's still a little bit of textures here, but not as much. Uh, here's all the different blocks you can take a look at. As you can see, the weapons are back to the way that they were before, so they didn't change much. But you guys get the idea. It's a lot of fun to play around with the different texture packs out there, the different resource packs. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for all of the resource packs that you've seen in this video, as well as the link in the description for resourcepack.net for you guys to go and check it out. And if you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions for Tech Tuesday, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them or maybe do a video if it is a suggestion um, as I get to them. That's going to be it for me guys. Until next time, stay foxy everybody. I'll see you all later. Bye guys!